So just to be clear, when I asked you what's going on here, and you told me mollusks and sea snails, you thought that was more important than the telepathic, acid-shooting, venomous, shape-shifting butthole worms. I hate you. What's up, guys, and welcome to Aqua Creep. Now, some of you guys might remember Astro Creep, as well as Among the Sheep. It's two games made by the same developer. This game is apparently considered a spin-off of Astro Creep even though I've been told it's more of a combination of the two. And I really enjoyed both games. I thought they made for great videos. They were really fun little indie games, so I figured I would check this out. I don't really know anything more about it, so I'm incredibly curious how we're gonna get on this boat. Okay, am I gonna rob this guy? I got a knife! Get out of the boat! There you are. I was just about to radio you. Control wants us back ASAP. Said some freak tropical storm just popped up on radar. <laughs> I was about to say, it has voiceover work, I'm really impressed with that, but then I saw his face. That's the face of somebody who's seen some messed up stuff. You know what? I'm hooked. A tropical storm is coming, we need to return to base, I'm sure nothing terrifying involving alien butthole worms will happen there. So we have A and D to move around, S to talk to characters, mouse click to select a response, we can converse with people in this game. They didn't have that in the other one. W to interact with objects. All right, let's try having a conversation with you. The storm's definitely rolling in. Looks like it's gonna be a rough one. You need a hand with anything out there? I was kind of hoping that the other guy was just an anomaly. Bit of a freak, spent too much time underwater, but I'm not faring a whole lot better over here. Nah, I can take care of this. What are you gonna do? Hard not to laugh every time you see that. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna go change out of this wetsuit, probably go see if anyone else needs help with any storm preparations. I'm kinda worn out. I think I'll turn in, storms kinda make me sleepy, or not sure, probably just hang out for a while. Um, I want to go meet more people. Looks like all the major equipment has been stored away already. But it couldn't hurt to ask around. Equipment. So what do we do here? Well, I better get my shit together here before it lets loose on us. My guess is it's gonna last all night. Maybe longer. I'm going to call you Mr. Potato Head, because you look a little bit like a Mr. Potato Head that was in the microwave for just a little too long. Oh, you have a name. Your name is Thomas. Thomas Potato Head it is. I'll see you around, Thomas. Thanks for the ride. I'm going to go check out Dive Storage. W to interact, change clothes, and alien butthole worm. Or change of clothes. All right, that works too. So far, so good. I'm gonna be paranoid this entire game. They gotta be around somewhere, right? They always are in this guy's game. So now we're gonna go, well, like, what is this? It's a very strange pier with like many buildings on it. Oh, we're some kind of like science crew. You guys have the alien bottle worms right here. You got six of them, Steve, are you out of your damn mind? This is, you're gonna make this go wrong, okay? I know it. You're gonna be one to sneeze or trip or let them loose, and then they're gonna go up my butt, and I'm gonna blame you. Hey, Steve, what's a good word? Not a whole lot, but no news is good news, right? Heck of a storm brewing out there, ain't it? Reminds me of the kind we used to get back in Manchester. The voice acting is actually kinda good. Have you ever had one of those stress balls with a face on them, and when you smoosh them, the face kinda blows out? They look a little bit like that. Oh god, uh, well, I'm from Florida, so we used to get weather like this, uh, that's really long. Uh, ain't that the truth? I would guess that goes double for the on-site medical practitioner, am I right? So he must be the med guy, good to know. Anything I can do to help out with the preparations? Or maybe we should break out the booze and have ourselves the traditional hurricane party. Yes, let's all stay together in a group. Safety in numbers. That's more or less the plan. As soon as everyone wraps up what they need to get done before the storm, I'm pretty sure we're all meeting in the rec room. Probably not Isabel. You know how she is. She'd rather do science by candlelight if you'd let her. I know how she is, Isabel. Yep, yeah, she's, she's, yeah, just such a stickler. Should be a pretty heavy storm. The radar was showing a lot of red. We'll be fine, though. The Institute keeps our preparations pretty thoroughly stocked. Is that Isabel there? Because Isabel is, um... She's got very short legs and very big personality. Definitely got some uh, cannons ready in case pirates show up. Hello, Isabel. Isabel. What's... Everything cool? Is everything cool? What's up? I suppose. The storm is most inconvenient. The timing couldn't be worse. 
We were making excellent headway on the project, and now we have to put it all on hold to prep the facility before it hits. Did I say cannons? Because those are torpedoes! Isabel, you look real serious right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda terrifying. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do to help speed things up? The project will still be there after the storm. No need to worry yourself over it. Uh, what are you working on? Or it might be good to break away from it for a while. I hardly ever see you outside the lab. What are you working on? What's with the alien butthole worms? Currently, the Institute has been insisting we further research the local mollusks and sea snails in the area. Not terribly exciting on its own, I'll grant, but recent developments have been promising. That's all I can say at the moment. So... What's with the- are we just keeping them as pets or something? Because they're not mollusks or sea snails, they don't have shells. So what's with the worms? Look, I don't mean to brush you off or anything, but I need to focus on getting some things in order. I'll speak to you later, okay? Okay. Uh, can I interact with any of this stuff? Uh, interact. Oh. Is that an air conditioner? Oh, I remember in Among the Sheep you could um, turn on the air conditioner and then if somebody walked past it and you couldn't see their breath, they were an alien. That's probably not a good thing, right? Oh, I can interact with something over here as well. No samples present. We're gonna have to do blood samples. Some Something's gonna go wrong or something's already gone wrong. I think it's Steve or maybe Potato Head Thomas. I'm not entirely sure yet. This is not good. It's in here. Oh, I can go to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner. I don't really wanna go to sleep. I feel like that would be when alien butthole stuff happens. So I'm just gonna keep moving down this strange scientific pier to the bathroom. Oh great, just go in here. <laughs> no, Taco Bell is not returning from last time. We are we are moving on. Nothing is gonna be crawling back up inside of me. We're gonna go to uh this chickie's room. Turn this on. And then Rebecca. What's up, jerk? Rude? There you are. I was worried I wasn't going to meet my asshole quota for today. Have fun playing Aquaman this morning. Have fun having a chiseled jaw and she's kind of ripped. <laughs> she's huge! Uh, okay, all jokes aside, did you need help with anything today? Yeah, it was okay. I need a new octopus. I think my current rig is cracked. Uh, it was fine until we had to cut the dive short. Crazy about the storm, isn't it? Or not as much fun as when I played Hollow Man in the showers the other day. You forgot to wash behind your ears, by the way. Can I just openly admit to peeping on her in the shower? Let's try that. Oh, easy with that Hollow Man reference. It's an antique. Really showing your age with that one, buddy. Although it doesn't shock me to find out you know all about a movie starring an invisible rapist. Who hasn't heard of Hollow Man? Uh, rude. I was rude. You're rude. We're all rude. Hey, by the way, you heard the crew is meeting up in the rec room for the storm, right? I'll be the one getting drunk off my ass, so come have a beer with me later, okay? Okay... Um... So... She kind of took that much better than I would have expected. She wants me to have a drink with her. I mean, <laughs> I was about to say maybe the alien worms won't be the only thing crawling up inside a butthole tonight, but that wouldn't be very advertiser friendly. So instead, we're just gonna say, okay, goodbye, Rebecca. I respect you as an individual. Uh, I'm waiting until the party starts. I'm gonna drink shots through a snorkel. That's nice. I thought she was about to attack me. I trust nobody, we're moving on. Anybody that comes at me quickly, I'm gonna get a little bit panicked. Uh, oh, oh, hey, hey, Alley Sean, stop. Tickles. How to yourself? Looks like we're in for a bit of a colorful weather, huh? You stuck for the party tonight? <laughs> a, a bit of shit weather and I haven't missed my guess. You know what? I actually am. Would you be good to cut loose for a bit? Can't work all time, right? I was actually wondering if you needed help with any of the prep for that. I think I'll probably take a little nap first. Don't know what it is, but I'm suddenly pretty te teared. I'm suddenly pretty teared. <laughs> um, I, oh god. You know what, I'm excited to be in a group, and if there are choices in this game, I definitely want a party to happen. All work and no play makes Jack murder his family. Or maybe that was the sobriety. Or the ghost. Wait, what was that movie about again? No worries, though. Plenty of drink and a break with my co-workers makes me a happy guy. 
Okay, good. Just don't go murdering anybody because we're your scientific family. But yeah, this part is gonna be rad, man. Everyone I've talked about this is pretty amped. Isabel seemed a little bummed, but I guess that's just because she'd rather spend the night with her sea snails. Hey, more alcohol for us, right? Right, screw Isabel. She's she's gonna be the first to oh, she's gonna be the first to go, isn't she? Is this foreshadowing? Okay, thanks, Sean. What's up with you there, Trevor? Hey man, how's it looking? Oh hey Dean. Back from the dive already? Guess you were worrying for some rain, huh? Are you like talking to me through a paper too? Oh my god, look at his lips. <laughs> okay, no, they all look like that. That's not racist, okay? No, it's fine, moving on. Um, yeah, a uh, little birdie told me anything I can do to help batten down the hatches. Uh, figured dark clouds meant we were in for a hell of a party. Didn't want to miss out so we can call it early. Uh, yeah, well, you know, the drill. Aside from that, anything else going on? Couldn't find any specimens to bring back anyway. The sea life was actually kind of weird now that I think about it. A couple fish swimming upside down. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, you got that right. Sean's been doing his rain dance ever since we checked the radar. You know this crew never misses a chance to cut out of work. Sounds like my kind of crew. The forecast says the main sail should be over us in about an hour or so. Guess we'll find out how built to last this place is. What is this place? You got nothing for me? Okay. Uh, whoa. Where did Sean go? Oh, I can go do stuff over here. Okay, uh, interact with, uh, the fridge. Is there anything to do with the fridge? Okay, good to know. Uh, we can talk to Sean, and that's about it. All right. Will you gentlemen look a little bit warm? I definitely don't want you to burst into aliens, so I'm just gonna turn on the air conditioner, and we're moving on. This place is freaking huge. This never ends. <laughs> I don't even know if one of them are an alien right now or not. I get the feeling like I'm gonna need to go to sleep to start stuff. Oh yeah, you. this is what, a security room? Uh. Can't get in there. Hi, Uma. Hey there, Uma. What's cracking? Everything all right? You seem kind of twitchy. Oh, twitchy. Oh, right. She's the one without voice because this is early access. Okay. <clears throat> uh, to be honest, I sort of wigging around a little bit. I've never been in a tropical storm before. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. This facility took quite a lot of money to develop. I'm sure it's built to withstand a tropical storm. Well, there's still time before it hits. Maybe it will strengthen into a full-blown Category 1 hurricane. I can help you with any last-minute preparations you like. Really? You've never experienced a serious storm before? Uh, I can help you if you need any help. Uh, that's nice of you to offer, but there's nothing left to do. Silly, right? Like, we're as prepared as we can be out here, and, and I'm still a little bit of a nervous wreck. But it's not just the storm. I just have this unnerving feeling like something bad is about to happen. I can't explain it. Like th there's the storm, but then I, I don't know this this other feeling like something isn't quite right. Is it your face? It's probably your face. Can I get can't get in here? Okay, well That looks like everything. I guess it's probably time to go to sleep. I have total faith that I am gonna go to sleep and when I wake up, nobody's butt is gonna be wormed. Okay? Total faith. Everything is gonna be fine. Everybody is gonna be happy. We're gonna be partying. It's gonna be a squishing, destructive time. What the hell was that? Um, hello? It sounded like it was coming from over here. Well, the storm is going. Uh, was that you, Isabel? You're not at the party. Please, please don't be bad. Please, please don't be bad. Isabel, can I bother you for a second? What do you need? Oh, she's good. Um, I was sleeping and I thought I heard someone scream. Did you hear anything? I was just wondering how come you aren't at the party with the others. You haven't noticed anything a little off around here lately, have you? Everyone's in the rec room hiding out of the storm. Riding out the storm. There's drinks and music and all that jazz if you wanted to head over there. Uh, did you just hear anything? I'm not sure. I've been pretty wrapped up in my work here. I thought I might have heard something like a scream, but I figured it was just the party or maybe just the storm. Okay. Now, you'll have to excuse me, Dean. The project requires my undivided attention. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's still six butthole worms, so... Maybe we're okay? Maybe that's not what this game is about? I, I don't really know. Let's go see what, uh, old potato... Oh. Oh no, he's at the party. He's at the party. Everything's not fine. What is this? What is this? 
muddy wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this pattern earlier? I don't remember. Who was in a red wetsuit? Oh, I don't pay attention to these things. How do you how do you see their wetsuits with faces like that? Oh crap. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just head down to the party. Strength in numbers, right? We're gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be fine. That wetsuit, I'm sure. Taco Bell? Taco Bell? No, no Taco Bell. Okay, no, he's not back, so we're just gonna keep on moving. I don't remember where they said the party was gonna be. Uh, that other missus is in here, the one that I like to watch shower. Okay, very good. Moving on to here. Oh, okay. So hopefully we're good here. Um, who, uh, is there anything, anybody acting weird? Steve, Thomas, yeah, Thomas, what's going hey, on? Tommy, can I bend your ear for a moment? Yeah, help me out here, buddy. You wanna talk? Sure, how you doing, man? You're looking a little better without the, Wet suit? Oh, nobody's wearing a wet suit. Why would he? Um, this might sound a little strange, but did you happen to hear it screaming earlier? Uh, you having a good time? Where can I grab these drinks I'm seeing everybody with? I'm just a little concerned about the storm. Yeah, do you know there's anything like strange happening right here, maybe? Screaming? I mean, sorta. It's kind of a party if you missed it, know what I mean? Music blaring, people shaking it, getting drunk. I fucking love parties, man. <laughs> okay. Anywho, sure beats work, am I right? This is true. Okay, um, who else? Uh, d d how about, how about you? Uh, Sean, Sean, help hey, me out Sean, here. Here yeah, I need to, I need to talk. Hey buddy, what's up? Not much. Uh, this might sound a little bit weird, but did you hear anything that sounded like screaming earlier? I just wanted to know where I could get one of those beers. Uh, anything seem, well, strange to you? Or anyone got any ideas how long this storm's supposed to last? Yeah, did anything seem a little, little weird? Anything off to you? Come to think of it, yeah, I have. I think it's strange you aren't taking advantage of a drunk Rebecca. You know she likes you, right? Uh, oh, right, the, the shower peeper. Thank you for confirming that, comrade. Hey, never mind all that. How about you kick back and relax, huh? I remember, we're getting paid for this. <laughs> also, I know he's probably not Russian. Well, I know he's not Russian. It's just his accent sounds like that, so it's hilarious. Okay, thanks, Sean. Uh, Rebecca, Rebecca. Hey, like I should, hey, how are you hey, doing? Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Yeah, I got to, you, you got anything in your butthole yet? Because you could. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, I was thinking I might have heard someone scream a little bit earlier. You didn't hear anything, did you? Uh, how many drinks have you had already? Uh, have you been, have there been any developments with the storm? Or do you think the storm, uh, yeah, how many, how many drinks you had? Who are you, my mom? Oh, wait, I get it. You're just upset I'm lapping you. Well, hop to it, Tiffany. Time to play catch up. I think what's terrifying about them is that their foreheads are too small and their eyes are too big. So they look like they're just not right. It's the nicest way of saying it. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun. Okay, okay. Uh, how about you, Trevor? Hey, let me ask you something. You didn't happen to hear someone scream a bit earlier, Ooh. did you? I'm just gonna go straight to it. Scream? Where'd you hear a scream? I, I don't know. Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was a scream. I was asleep when I thought I heard it, but it kind of sounded like it came from towards the equipment storage. We did find the suit. Okay, listen close, man. I need to talk to you, but not here. Meet me in the security room. Don't tell anyone and come alone. You got me? Are you an alien and I'm on to you? Because you sound a little bit weird compared to everybody else. I'm not sure if that's just poor audio recording. <laughs> it being in a little indie game throws in so many wrenches. Okay, no, uh, sure. Trevor, you're kind of freaking me out a little. What's wrong? What are you? Shh. Not here. You walk out first and head over to the security room. I'll meet you there. Okay. I guess we're gonna go do that then. Why do I get the feeling he's going to rip me apart? The security room is down here, right? It's down at the end. Please, please one time, don't rip me apart. Hey, buddy. Are you cool? Kosher, we're good? Okay, I'm here. Now what's this all about? Okay, listen. This is gonna seem weird, crazy. 
but after what I saw, I really don't know how else to describe it. Hey, Jesus, Trevor, man, you look like you saw a ghost. What happened? I think I know, but I don't want to say it. Not until you've seen this first. See that monitor in the middle there? Mm hmm. Keep watching. Okay. Where is this dive storage? Wait a minute, who is that? That's not good. It is the well, it, it's already evolved. So it was a worm, and then it's like second or third stage is that weird, like little froggy one. And now it went in his mouth. That's any consolation. And judging by the absence of torpedo tits, I want to say that it is a male. So we've already removed like half of the people here. Good lord, what the hell did we just see happen? Somebody just got attacked by something. Who and by what isn't exactly clear, as you can see from the video feed. But whoever it was got back up and shook it off like it was nothing. After the thing went inside of him and it had extra appendages grow out its back. That's kind of important to be a part of this story. Son of a bitch. I guess this explains that wetsuit I found earlier, too. Maybe it does. What wetsuit? In the end of the video, when the victim stands up and changes clothes in the locker, I found a bloody and shredded wetsuit lying on the floor in the dive storage. It looked like the one Rebecca was wearing earlier. What? Rebecca? For real? Okay, man. Shit. But look, from now on, we tell each other everything. Agreed? Sure. So that's one mystery solved, but we still don't know exactly what we're up against. What are we supposed to do now? It's gonna have to be good enough, I guess. Here, take this. Wait, you're giving me your gun? Why? Why do you have a gun at sea in a science facility? Don't worry, I'll keep a spare and some ammo in the security locker. I need you to have this, because you're the only one I can be sure is human right now. I can tell when you asked about the screams you heard in the rec room earlier. Why do you have multiple guns? Okay, no, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're in this together now. Bros before hoes. What do you mean, is human? Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. I mean, between what you witnessed and what we saw on the security monitors, somebody out there isn't who they say they are. Okay, well, that somebody would be Rebecca, as we've already concluded. Keep up. You're telling me that someone in this facility isn't really a person? Rebecca isn't really a person? Guys, come on. I feel like I'm working with a bunch of, like, plastic figures here. Use your heads. I don't think whoever was attacked is even alive anymore, Dean. Whatever that fucking thing was is now running around, pretending to be human, and nobody but you and me have any idea. Oddly deformed, strangely shaped heads. Holy shit. What if there's more of these things? If that's what we're dealing with, then how are we supposed to know which one of us is really human? There's six of them. In a tank. And Steve probably let them out. I don't have an answer for that yet. But we do know one person ain't on the level. And I think the first thing we need to do is handle that first. You know how to use that thing, right? I mean, like, handle that? Because if I just need to walk up and shoot Rebecca, people are going to be real upset. Yeah, point the business end at whatever I want to die, squeeze the trigger. Just hope I don't shit myself in the process. You do whatever you need to do, bro. Get it done. We can't afford to let this thing keep picking us off one by one. I'm going to head back to the rec room and try to see what I can figure out. Get over there when you're ready to make a move on this thing. So, just to be clear... You somehow know that it's picking off people one by one, even though it's only picked off one person? Okay, uh, oh, I can aim now, and I can shoot with the left click. Weapons require ammo to fire. I only have 12 shots. This is locked. This is not good. Alrighty then, I guess we're just gonna go deal with Rebecca real quick. Ah, she was my favorite. She let me watch her shower and stuff. Uh, which one's... I thought I was going to come in and Rebecca be right there. I don't want to get too close to her. So, I guess we're just going to go over here. Oh, oh there she is. Uh, uh, got her. Oh, oh, crap. No, no. Everybody get down. I don't know if I'm shooting people or I think I'm shooting the aliens. We did it. 12 shots. What's up, guys? How, Steve, you, Steve, you don't got anything to say about that? That's cool. Okay, screw me. Uh, what's up, Uma? You don't have a voice. I'm gonna talk to Trevor. Well, 
I'd say that went as well as could be expected. Could use some more ammo. You think? Man, it got up through the ceiling panels. Who knows where it could be right now? Shit, if bullets don't kill this thing, what the fuck kind of options did that leave us with? I did hurt it. It was just only 12 bullets. Uh, you think this is easy? I didn't exactly see you putting rounds into it, you know? <laughs> Not true. Shooting it made it reveal its true form, so there's that. I could tell I hurt it a little. Uh, that kind of options we need to figure out if we want to go through this alive. Well, one option it doesn't leave open is bringing in outside help. Until we completely eradicate whatever this creature is, we can't risk bringing a monster disguised as a person back to the mainland. Okay, um, yeah, you know what? Maybe well, you could have shot it. It was gonna sprout some nasty looking crab looking shit and spider waltz around the room, man. I was not even a little prepared for that. Cool. Neither okay, was I. Well, forget about all that for right now. We need to think about what our next move is. Maybe something in the lab could. Oh, fuck! Isabelle's in the lab, all by herself. She has no idea what just happened here. That's not good. I called it. So, uh, can I get some ammo, maybe? Uh, what's this? Received Rebecca's key. Okay. So because we killed Rebecca, we got a key. Interesting, interesting. Do any of you guys have anything interesting to say, Steve? So now you see what we're up against here. I see it, but I can't quite put it into words. What just happened here, Dean? What was that thing? Uh, not sure, but we can kill it. Some kind of monster, Trevor and I saw it attack someone on the security camera. All we know is that once it attacks, it seems to be able to mimic its victim. Uh, we don't know yet. I miss Rebecca. <laughs> we aren't sure if it's the only one. Haven't seen any evidence to support it yet, but we can't rule out the existence of others like it. I don't care what it is. All that matters is that we keep it from killing anyone else. Agreed. However, I'm sure an advantage could be had in better understanding its nature. It might give us an edge in killing it. I'm fine with that. My nerves are still all... Shut up. Keep trying to calm myself, but the way it just appeared like that. Good lord. I could have sworn it was human. You know what was even more shot up than your nerves? The alien. Uh, oh, I got six bullets somehow. What is this? Uh, interact? Oh, I got more bullets. Okay, we got 12 bullets now. So let's not shoot anybody here. Let's go see what's going on in the lab. I can only imagine. Oh, more bullets. What are these? Arrows? It didn't say anything about changing ammo types. Can I have more than 12 shots? Am I going to waste this? No. Okay. So because we got the key, it let us in here. I now have 19 shots. That's a good start. So if I can get down to the lab. Bathroom! Reach and clear. Oh, more ammo. Okay. 24 shots. If I can kill this thing, like when it comes out once, then I'll be able to save more people, right? This was my bedroom. Nobody in here. It's all right. Just a whole bunch of ammo. Ammo full. Okay, so you can only have 24. Good to know. So there's more ammo in my bedroom. Remember that. And go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I can't shoot her. I guess that means that she's not an alien. Talk to her. Isabel, we need to talk. <sighs> this had better be an emergency. You could say that. A giant crab alien just burst out of Rebecca's chest and then crawled up into the vents. That an emergency enough for you? We have a very serious problem. I don't know if you're willing to believe this, but a member of the crew was killed by some kind of creature. The creature then went on to disguise itself as human. Son of a bitch. I knew it. You don't sound nearly as surprised at that news as I would expect. Your face also doesn't really display surprise. Uh, wait, what the hell do you mean you knew it? You're taking the news better than I'd anticipated. Did you hear what I said? People are dying! How long have you known about I've this? I've known of the potential since the beginning. However, the actual occurrences are indeed news to me. You didn't feel like sharing it with any of us? Allow me to explain. You see, the project we've been focusing on recently it started out with mollusks and sea snails, until we discovered what we thought initially was a completely new species. The butthole slugs. A small green slug with yellow spotted patterns along its sides. Nothing about it seemed particularly noteworthy until one day, we discovered its more fascinating attributes. That it crawls up in butts and turns into the butt it turned into? Shape-shifting. Uh, or shape-shifting, you can call it that too? You gotta be shitting me right now. No, I'm quite serious. 
We placed the specimen in a terrarium alongside other species. We were shocked to find as the amount of new species would seem to disappear, more of the more common species would proportionally be present. We found that... No, not the fact that it can shapeshift. I mean, you can't possibly mean to tell me that thing that's out there picking off the crew is some aquatic slug. I've seen it on video, partially at least, and I can tell you it was no slug. This thing had legs. Yeah, because they kept putting it with animals that it turned into. Keep up! That's what I was getting to. We found that not only could it mimic other species at a cellular level, but in ingesting other organisms, it seemed to rapidly evolve. In many cases, acquiring attributes derivative of its prey. So you're saying this little sea slug can mimic its way up the food chain and become just like whatever it eats? I'm saying it doesn't end there. Just because it consumes an organism doesn't mean it's restricted to just taking the same form and aping its skill set. The creatures have demonstrated the capability to reassign organic matter into completely different new tissue. If left to its own devices, we found that they could produce rudimentary venom sacs, crude wings have formed, acidic saliva glands, and even initial cranial telemetric systems. We've witnessed these things move things without touching them. So just to be clear, when I asked you what's going on here, and you told me mollusks and sea snails, you thought that was more important than the telepathic, acid-shooting, venomous, shape-shifting butthole worms. I hate you. Oh, fuck me. Now you're telling me these things are telepathic? No, I'm saying they could be if the conditions were met and the evolutionary demand was concentrated enough. Essentially, they're the perfect adaptive organic machines. Oh my god. Not god, Dean. Science. Oh my science, you are an idiot. Yeah? Well, one of your little science experiments is running amok and taking people's lives. Relax. There are procedures in place for this kind of situation. The Institute can fly containment squad out here by daybreak. The storm complicates things, but I'm sure they can manage for a high-level emergency like this. Do you don't think the containment is just going to be killing all of us because they can't tell which is which? And what do you mean relax? Rebecca is inside out right now. I don't know if the procedure involves me watching you shower, but I really doubt it. Are you hearing me right now? At least one of these things is out there right now killing people and posing in their skins as replacements. Right now, we have no way of telling who's really human. Yes, we do. I can run a test that will prove definitively among us who is genuinely human, but I'm going to need samples of everyone's blood. Okay. Here, take these empty needles. Collect a sample from all the remaining crew members and bring them back to me. But hurry. If we wait too long, all the cells will have already assimilated and we will have missed our chance. Okay. If we examine everyone's blood quickly, we can spot the predatory cells still in the act of fusing with the host's native blood cells. That's how we'll find out who's really one of us. Sounds risky. We'd have to get pretty close to someone to extract their blood. But if this will prove definitively the identity of the creature, then it's worth the risk. Just don't get too close. The creature's awareness is greater as it jumps from host to host. It'll learn your behaviors and adapt to it. That's what it does. Be careful. So this game is a mix between Among the Sheep and Astro Creep, because the creature is Astro Creep, all of the abilities that we saw are from the first game, but it has the Among the Sheep gameplay where we need to figure out who the alien is and get blood samples and all that kind of- oh. Don't sneak up on me like that. You- I snuck up on you, did I, Trevor? Sorry, I wasn't trying to. What are you doing out here in a storm like this? Everyone in the rec room is scared to be around each other. They all scatter to different buildings. I came out here to try to talk some sense into him. Isn't the stereotype that the black guy is supposed to do the stupid thing in horror movies? I mean, that's not me, that is the stereotype. And I like that in this game, he's a smart one, and everyone else is dumb as shit and decided to spread out to be alone. Uh, you shouldn't be doing that, Trev. It's really not a smart idea to be out on your own right now. Then you out here all by yourself, too. At least I think you are. You got any creepy crawly shawl shanking their way through your guts telling you to kill me right now, right? My guess is that if I did, I wouldn't be so inclined to tell you about it, would I? Nah, I guess you would. So I suppose there ain't much point in asking. It's been a while since you ran off to check on Isabel. Anything you want to talk to? Actually, there is something. There's a helicopter being dispatched to come pick us up. 
Real pros. G-men, I guess. You know the type. Top-level operatives that know how to clean up a mess like this. Fine. Good. So what now? We just hang tight until they get here? Not quite. We can't risk taking someone back with us who might be infected with the creature. Isabel's got a blood test she's putting together, but I need to get a sample from everyone on deck so we can make sure we're all clean. This test is guaranteed. No chance of a false positive, is there? You'd have to ask Isabel about that. All I know is that if I don't get the samples under the microscope as quick as possible, the blood from the creature is going to be impossible to distinguish from the blood of any of us. Ah, oh, hell, man. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hurry up and get the samples before we run out of time. We'll have to go back to the spray and pray technique. That's what I came up here to do. Head inside the lab and wait with Isabel. When I get back with the samples, we'll find out if anyone's not on the up and up. Then we just have to make it until the chopper gets here. Okay. Yeah, that sounds super easy. So I'm just gonna... How do I dart people? They didn't explain that much. Uh, hey you. Dart. Dart. Uh, okay. No, new. No, I'm cornered. New, no, new. No. Listen, there's a test we can do to find out which one of us is really the shapeshifter, but I need to collect a blood sample from everyone to do it. Blood sample? You mean with a needle, right? Yes, or a bullet. That gonna be a problem, Tom? No problems, just... Ah, hell, I guess I don't have a choice on this one. If I don't participate, I guess it doesn't point a good indication my way, does it? It really doesn't. But look, Isabel's calling in some high-level specialists who are flying out here right now. It'll all be over soon. Our only concern right now is making sure we single out the creature before they get here. So I have to ask them for it? That's a terrible idea! I thought I would have to knock them out and dart them or something like that. Oh god, who's in the bathroom? Hello? Okay, listen here, uh, you don't move. Don't, 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 don't okay, move, Sean. Sean. Here's the story. Since nobody knows which one of us is the monster, I'm going around taking blood samples. Isabel's got a test ready in the lab that can answer our little identity crisis. To that end, I'm going to need a contribution. My blood? Are, uh, is the test going to pick up any, uh, any other things? No, if you're doing drugs, STDs, whatever, it doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Relax, we're just looking for signs of the creature. Nobody's interested in what you do in your free time. I'm in kind of a rush, so would you mind? Oh no, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Why don't you let me handle this for you? I, uh, kinda know my way around these things pretty well. Phew, there we are. Boy, that takes me back. Better days, I can tell you that much. Okay, so he's a bit of a druggie. Got it. Two down? Like... There's no way the alien's just gonna give me its blood, right? I'm gonna walk up to it, it's gonna transform and like turn me inside out. How about you? I'm just gonna keep this Uma. Relax, Uma. It's me, Dean. I'm human. Listen, I need something from you. I need to take a sample of your blood so we can run it under the microscope and make sure you're really you. Oh, like a blood test? Like my vision? The ones about the microscope? Yeah, just like that. I only need a little. Will you comply, or are you going to make me take it from you? I suppose you have every right to want to figure out who's the monster. Okay, make it quick. I suck at needles, but I'm willing to give in to whatever it takes to figure this out. Thanks. We should know the results soon. I think it'd be best if you just stay here until we know for sure, for everyone's safety. Okay. Like, I don't understand how this is going to go in my favor quite yet. Is there anybody left in here? I hate going over here because then people are like right next to you. Oh, no, we're good. Empty. Clear. All right. Was down here the security room? I, know, I would imagine somebody probably ran to the security room. I think one person went to every building, he said. Oh, 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 just stay, stay right there. Stay with Steve. Isabel's got a blood test that can tell us who's the creature and who's a human. There's also some kind of contingency squad flying in through the storm that's going to wipe the place. Thank God for all that, then. If they're sending in professionals, why the blood test? Because they're not going to take any of us alive. Because they're not going to take any of us alive, you moron. I would think that would be obvious, Doctor. Squad or no squad, we're still bumping elbows with a homicidal shapeshifter. And I think we'd all breathe a little easier knowing who it was. Now hold out your arm, please. Fair point. All right then. 
Have at it. I think Isabel's test can finally put the matter to rest. I've never seen everyone so on edge. Not that I really blame them. I should probably get back... I don't know what these are. Okay, I should probably get back and get all this tested right now because she said to be quick and if... Maybe I should have done them one at a time? I don't know what she meant by be quick or else it'd be all assimilated. Hopefully I didn't screw this up by going to get four at a time. I don't know if I was supposed to get one at a time. Ah, okay, no, I'll, I'll be quick. I've been quick, right? I don't think there's anybody in my room, hopefully. Uh, yeah, okay, what up guys? I got some stuff, here you go. Uh, so this test of yours, can we fully count on it? Is there any chance of an error? Tell me now or consider the blood on your hands. So long as you get the samples under the microscope before every single invasive predatory cell has fully assimilated, you'll notice an obvious difference. I don't know what it the timing is. Don't think you're in the clear just yet, Professor, as far as I'm concerned. We all need to pass the test like our life depends on it. Because it does. I'd expect nothing less. Here, you'll be needing a sample of my blood as well. Right, that should do it. Put it under the microscope and see for your... Okay, okay, we're gonna go... Microscope! <coughs> Okay, you're good, good, good. Don't have you, don't have you. Oh, 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 it's Uma. I knew she didn't talk for a reason. D it's Uma, Uma did it. So now what? Uh, you need to explain what I need to do. All right, Trev, your turn. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna get yours as well. No, no, I need to go kill Uma. That's way more important. Okay, no, no, no screw it. I don't even care about your blood. We're going to Uma. Where was Uma? Uh, Uma? No, you're not Uma. Oh, I knew the, the voice cracking. You could tell. Was she in the bathroom? Uma? No. Ooh, okay, no. Sean, get out of here. Uma's tainted. Was it in here? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot. Oh, no. I moved off screen. No, Uma. You have been overcome by the shapeshifter. Oh. Please tell me it doesn't restart me at the very beginning. I've been playing this for like an hour and... Okay, so do we still know that it's Uma? That's very important. We're gonna, we're gonna check. Isabel, uh, Trevor, oh, I don't have any samples. Okay, well, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Aqua Creep, guys, because I've been playing for a really long time. This is already gonna be a very long video. If you guys wanna see me continue, if you wanna see me actually defeat the shapeshifter, then be sure to leave a like on the video and let me know, and I'll return for a part two. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.